Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about pre-prep for makeup. So I was asked by a subscriber if I would share sort of my morning routine that I do before I apply makeup. So just in case you are new to my channel, <laughs> I am 50 years old. I have mature skin. My main issues are hyperpigmentation, um, you know, normal wrinkles and such, um, you know, loss of elasticity, um, and I am normal to dry. So what I thought I would do is kind of walk you through my morning um, skincare routine that I do before I put on makeup, as well as then go ahead and apply a foundation. So if you are interested in watching this pre-prep for more mature skin, then let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, first things first, every morning before I um, have anything else upon waking, I always drink water with either lemon or apple cider vinegar. And I like to drink a big, um, I think this is 32 ounces, just a ball jar. But you guys, I really think part of the prep um, to kind of, I, you know, I always want to have the kind of plump, juicy skin, or that's what I'm aiming for. And I swear by water. So, um, just thought I would start out my routine with a little bit of water. Mm -hmm. Today I have added in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Many mornings I will do lemon and apple cider vinegar because it really helps flush out the system, balance your pH levels, and I just swear by that. So I am a water pusher. <laughs> okay, next you guys. Um, so I am going to, I got a little bit nicer headband. If you've watched any of my other videos, you will have seen my ratty one, but I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair back and then we will get started with my routine. So first things first, I love a good milky cleanser and my absolute favorite Milky Cleanser is from Biologic Recherche, and this is Late VIP O2. You guys, I've had countless bottles of this. I, I literally haven't found anything I like much better. This is just my favorite, but I swear by a gentle milky cleanser, and I take about that amount. And then what I do is just massage this all over my skin. Um, I massage this all over and just kind of underneath my eyes all over. You guys, this is just a really nice milky cleanser. It has an oxygenating property in it that kind of gets in, excuse my eyebrows, um, and really cleanses the skin. So I really, really love this one. Um, and you can use this. I use this at night as well, but um, as my second cleanse. I don't use it as a makeup remover. You can, but for the price, this isn't something that I wanna be using. So this is my morning routine. So you guys, I do take a couple minutes and I really massage it into my skin. I will then let this kind of almost sit for a minute to kind of let it work its magic. I'm going to go and rinse it off real quick. Okay, so I have rinsed off that lovely milky cleanser. So you guys, I think a milky cleanser is sort of essential, just a really gentle. So then my next step that I'm going to do is tone my skin with either my um, lotion, P50V 1970. This has been, again, <laughs> one of my favorites but as i mentioned the other day i have been cheating and i thought we would go ahead and use this one on camera so that you guys can see it in action this is the dr francis uh prena jones um formula 2006. 
So this is a similar product to my lotion P50. And I know, I just wanted to try something. I was a little bit intrigued by this. Um, so this one has got ginger in it, as well as tomato, um, some other interesting products. So I'm just going to take a little on a cotton round. Um, so it's got a very kind of invigorating um, um, effect to the skin. And so does the lotion p50 1970 you guys i prefer the one um with the phenol in it but i know that some people are not comfortable with that um and so i would say do what is going to you know align best with what your goes well for your skin and so what i do is i just take it from the neck and i dab it all over um you guys, this one just has, it's very herbal, medicinal. Um, it has a little tingle. This has glycolic acid as well as salicylic acid, which I was a little bit worried would be too much for my skin. But I do have to tell you, I've really been enjoying it. I, um, I don't think it's going to knock out my um, lotion P50, but I wanted to try it. We'll see. I've only been using it for... Um, about a week uh, so I just wanted to uh, I, you know I had to tinker <laughs> um, okay so you guys I just dab 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 all over and then what I do is I let this dry so I think one other key is in the morning routine I try to let everything kind of sink in for you know if I can do a minute fantastic but um, just kind of letting the layers um, build, you know, and giving it a minute to actually soak into the skin um, before moving on to the next step. So I'll have a little sip of water as this is kind of um, drying down. Mm. Um, I would love to hear your prep um, for your skin. <laughs> um, okay, you guys, it is um, getting there not quite dry but um next step i'll go ahead and talk about it is then i am going to apply my vitamin c serum so you guys i have been using um this has just been a tried and true for me and this is the skin ceutical ce ferulic this just works for my skin um, there's obviously several different options out there that might be uh, at a better cost point one of them being which i do love is the may love Glow Maker Antioxidant Serum. This is an awesome one. And um, so I really do like that and it's a great dupe for this. And then another one is the um, Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. Um, so I do like to use a vitamin C. Now this can be a tricky ingredient for many people. So if that is the case for you, skip that um, I just do think that this gives a little bit of a glow factor. Um, I am going to go ahead and use this this morning. I'm going to take a few drops of this and then I'm just going to pat it into my skin and let this sit. And I just really like now, someone had asked me, um, you guys, if I have a rosacea outburst, I do not use the vitamin C. I basically take everything out of my, uh, you know, I go to, I keep with my gentle, um, my gentle cleanser, but I basically take out anything that could be irritating. So even my P50 until it has kind of soothed, um, has kind of, um, you know, calm down. So um, that would be something where I would not use a vitamin C. <laughs> now, as this vitamin C is melting in, I am going to be putting on my eye cream. Now, you guys, in general, in the morning, I like to use the Ole Henriksen. It's all worn off. That's how much I love this. Um, this is the Banana Bright Eye Cream. Love, love, love. But I was just given a sample of the um, Clay de Poe Intensive Eye Contour. You guys, this was bad. 
This stuff is freaking amazing and I didn't want to like it, but it's so thick and buttery. Um, I'm kind of wanting, it's a very expensive eye cream. I'm not sure I'm going for it, but I am totally enjoying. It is just so comforting to the eyes. Um, it's so thick and in a good way, like it sinks in, but you can totally feel it hydrating. So I take my ring fingers and then I kind of come in here, hopefully trying to de-puff. Now I do have the little La Mer um, that comes with the eye concentrate. It's a little metal thing that I will use to just kind of um, de-puff my eyes. Um, and if you buy the Clay de Peau, eye cream it also has one of those little wands but just for today you can just honestly just use your ring fingers and i just like to kind of puff through just kind of lifting up okay you guys are gonna let that sink in so lovely um okay next step is going to be my favorite which is a hyaluronic acid um you guys they're just so they just plump up your skin um actually you know what I forgot one little layer. <laughs> we'll do it now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead. So usually you guys, before I put on my C serum, I would use a mist of some sort. So I would tone and then I would go ahead and put a little layer of um, mist, like some sort of facial mist. But we can do it right now. Um, what I'm going to do, and it's nice to do this before I'm going to be applying that hyaluronic acid, um, and you could also do it after. So anything that you, the hyaluronic acid acts like a sponge. And so I like to kind of think of layering on, um, putting that on before I put my moisture so it can just draw all of that good um, protective barrier. So I am going to take this Eve Loam um, Radiance Face Mist. You guys, this stuff is amazing. It is a true like pure rose water, um, smells delicious but it just is dewy and wonderful so i'm just gonna let that little layer of hydration so i would say you could use this right after you tone your skin um and add back in some of that moisture or you know i've already done but this is before my hyaluronic acid which will be fine and i just want to think of like mm, i'm gonna be layering the plumping action okay so for hyaluronic acids you guys I have several that I love and I'm going to name off a few. I am totally enjoying this Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. Now this is outrageously priced. You do not need to use this particular brand. I really do like it. Now I did get it on sale. Um, but some of the other ones that I absolutely love are the Osha Hy Hyaluronic C Serum. This is another beautiful one. Um, and that is, um, that's $88, so still not the cheapest. And I love Skin Suticles HA Intensifier. This one is basically gone, but I do love this one. And then you guys, this is like, I've had several bot bottles of this, and this is the Moon Juice Beauty Shroom Jelly. This is a plumping jelly. Oof, I love this one. I am gonna go ahead and show you, oh, one more that I wanted to show you, you guys. And this could skip, instead of doing a C and a hyaluronic acid, um, if you are familiar with um, Beauty Pie, this Japan Fusion, um, it's Step M2 Deep Treatment Serum um, is awesome. So this is a basically plumping and um, it has antioxidant vitamin C and grape polyphenols. Um, it is a fantastic jelly cleanser and it has both and it's got a little bit of stick to it um but that is another option so basically some sort of plumping jelly i'm going to use this guy today and i just take a few drops of that Ooh, i got a little on the table i don't want to waste this good stuff and i am just going to be pressing this in to my skin underneath uh, and you guys immediately it just 
feels kind of plump and wonderful. And again, you guys, you can also use whatever hyaluronic acid. I know the ordinary, I have gotten a wonderful um, hyaluronic acid from them as well. I'm just saying you don't have to be using the exact products that I am using, but this is just sort of like for mature skin. This is the way I prep my face before I put makeup on. Okay, so again, kind of letting that just sink in. And then I'm going to be topping it with um, my uh, moisturizer. So I currently, right now for my day moisturizer, I am using Biologique Recherche Creme MSR-H. And you guys, this is just a beautiful, lovely, um, hydrating, lovely day cream. Um, another option that I have loved is the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This is a beautiful one. I've also used Drunk Elephant um, Proteiny Polypeptides. I've mixed the two of them together. Um, just, you know, whatever your favorite moisturizer is. So I am going to take a dab of my, my moisturizer here and then just rub this in. You guys, this one just smells so lovely. Um, has this kind of a light vanilla beautifulness and I just love it. Okay, so once I have this on my skin, I tend to let this kind of sink in. So again, I'm going a little bit quicker for you this morning, but um, I kind of like to let every layer just kind of do its magic. Now, one optional thing, and I don't do this every day, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Um, if you follow a whole Biologique Recherche routine, they have a finishing serum that they, they have different ones that you are supposed to layer on top of your moisturizer to kind of seal it all in. Um, another one is the Dr. Barbara Sturm Glow Drops. And I would use that on top of my moisturizer. And I would call these sort of finishing serums. This is kind of like a high maintenance step. Um, we'll go ahead and use it today, but you guys know I don't use it every single, um, that I don't use it every single day. I think it's just, um, you know, I like regimes and I, <laughs> I like steps. Um, but um, this is one of the ones where I, um, uh, you know, this isn't a daily occurrence. Um, I'm trying to decide which one would you want to see? Um, I guess we'll use the glow drops. I think someone had asked me about those. So you guys, I'm gonna use this and then I'm going to top with my SPF. So I will use these. Um, the glow drops here, this would be a part if I'm wanting to um, just get that kind of lit within, within. Now, if I am using a glowy foundation, I am not going to use the glow drops necessarily. You obviously can um, layer that, um, but this these sun drops basically is another layer of um, hyaluronic acid is in the base of this. And then it's got like a little tinge. It's just gonna kind of, maybe you can see, it's gonna give you a little bit of glow. Now, is you, if you can see on camera, or I'm hoping you can, um, my skin is feeling very hydrated. You can kind of see a little bit of glow going on here. And then after that, you guys, I always do SPF 50 every day. My go-to SPF, um, <laughs> I have, I'm on subscription, so that's how much I like it, is the Glow Skin Beauty um, Solar Shade SPF 50. And again, I use one pump, and this does have a white tinge, but do not worry. It does, um, it is going to uh, melt into the skin. So I am going to use this, and then we will move forward but this is my favorite spf now i do have to admit i have been intrigued by 
the um, Dr. Barbara Sturm sun drops, but they always seem to be sold out. So if anybody has used those and they think they're actually really good, um, I would love to know because I am kind of, you guys, I have been really enjoying some of the products that I'm using from this line um, and I would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, so <laughs> now this would be basically my prep most days without these two. Um, some days when I'm feeling like I have time or sometimes I'm just gonna be honest, I forget. Um, but uh, this would be my pre-prep for mature skin. Um, okay, today I thought we would go ahead and use the La Mer Soft Fluid Long Wear Foundation. Again, someone had asked, um, I don't think I have used this on camera before, so um, had asked if I would and how I apply it. So with this foundation, I don't use a primer, you guys. This pretty much is my prime. Um, I do have some primers, like I use the Tatcha Silk Canvas that I will use, and I use, generally use that, you guys, on days where um, if it's a foundation I've never used before or I'm worried that it's gonna be causing me a reaction, then I will use that. It's a lovely like base kind of, um, I just feel like it gives me a barrier between my skin and a foundation. Um, this one I know does not irritate my skin. Um, the color of this might be a little dark for me today. I have it in sand, but we're gonna go ahead and use it. So the way I like to use this guy, I'm gonna pump out here and I like to use it with a beauty blender. Um, so I'm just going to put some dabs on and don't get too scared. One thing I noticed even when I, if I had a hard time, you guys, I love this foundation, but getting the right color was a little tricky. So I am wondering, I'm gonna go ahead and use my beauty blender. This has been dampened and I am going to start pouncing this all over my skin and we shall see how this works. Uh, so I am almost out of the sand. I got that. This is what I was saying. I, I think I went through three or four kind of color trials with trying to find. If you go too light with this foundation, um, I don't think you're gonna like it. Um, if you, once you find the right color, this is just an absolutely gorgeous foundation. So we started out with neutral, which would be normally what I would go for is light to medium with neutral undertones. Um, but it turned, it pulled gray on me. Um, and then we tried one of the, I think we tried linen and then that was just a little too light. And then I think we tried maybe natural, I don't know. Let's just say we felt like once we tried sand, um, we felt like this was the winner. Um, and I'm just going to pounce this around. And you guys, you can just see it just sort of, um, just really kind of evens out your skin. It gives a really lovely finish. And I actually think, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys see what you think of the color. Um, but just kind of a very nice, kind of healthy looking foundation. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of let this sit and then if we wanna add a little bit more to some of my red spots, we'll do that. But in the meantime, we will use the concealer. So since we're using La Mer, I am going to be using the concealer. Um, this is in a stick form and I actually have it in shade light, which I feel like is a little light for me, but I like to just put it on the way I like to warm it up on my hand and then take a little bit with my fingertip, my finger here, ring finger, and then just press it into the kind of dark sockets in through my eyes. And I do actually like this concealer. Um, it's probably not my favorite favorite, but um, it has been, it works kind of nicely. I think one thing is you do kind of need to warm it up. 
it, it, it has a little bit of, um, you know, a little waxiness to it that you kind of need to use the warmth of your fingers. And I'm just going to put it around my little honker over here and over my eyes. And then we will rub all of this in. Okay, you guys, let's see, it's a little bit light. It's, I know that's what it's supposed to be, but sometimes it looks a little um, <laughs> on more mature skin. I sometimes wonder. Um, okay, so I am wondering if you think I should use some more foundation or not. I kind of think I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, my cheeks are a little bit red, um, but I you can build this one up. I mean, I'll do just a teensy weensy um, because I don't want to cake it on too much. I'm just going to go through. These cheek areas tend to be my red area here. Just a little bit here. And I don't want to use too much. I just don't feel like this one's going to dry down nice and pretty. And okay, just a little bit more. I'm just going to pounce that through. And kind of all over. And then what I am going to do is we're going to go ahead and dust it and set it with the La Mer powder just so you can see it. And then I will quickly go put on the rest of my face and we can see how it looks. Okay, so you guys, this is, I would say one pump and two little teeny dots, a little bit of concealer brightness under the eye. And then I have the La Mer powder. Um, I really like this. Um, it does take down sort of the if you want to keep it kind of glossy, then I would skip it. Otherwise, I would say I just take whatever's in the cap, just a teeny bit. Um, and I love this La Mer powder brush. So pretty. So you guys, this does have like sort of a little bit of sparkle to it. Um, and then I am just going to buff this into my skin. And it just kind of takes away just a little bit of glossiness, sets that, and then that is going to be foundation. I am going to go ahead, put on some eyeballs, <laughs> put on the rest of my makeup, and I'll be right back. skin. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I would love to hear what your routine is like. Um, I hope you have amazing rest of your day and I'll be back soon with another video.